Nearly 118,000 people in the United States are waiting for an organ transplant. 18 people die every day while waiting. But a West Salem woman just got a mechanical device that is buying her some additional time. News 19 Stephanie Nolte is here now with how, how the left ventricular assist device is keeping her heart going. Stephanie? Hi, Scott. One way to tell if someone is alive is by checking their pulse. Janet Jacobson doesn't have a pulse, but she is alive thanks to the LVAD while she waits for a heart transplant. It's constantly spinning to pump blood throughout her body rather than pulsating, so there isn't that normal rhythm. I was running around in October, and I did Thanksgiving at my house in November. It all started a few months ago when she thought she had bronchitis or pneumonia. My kids were like, Okay, your skin is gray and your lips are blue, so you may not be doing quite as well as you think you are. The medicine other doctors gave her wasn't working, so she was referred to Dr. Sundaram. You know, she could barely walk from the lobby to the room. She was blue. She was very short of breath. She was short, she, her heart was pumping out so little blood that it, it wasn't meeting the needs of her body. Dr. Sundaram sent her to Madison to get a left ventricular assist device which is like a mechanical heart. It's awesome. Uh, years ago, we didn't have options like this, and it's so gratifying to be able to take someone who's very ill and, and see them feel as well as they are. I call him my guardian angel, because if I wouldn't have seen him, I wouldn't have made it through the weekend. Just two months after her surgery, Janet is back on her feet, even working to become stronger. Only she's tethered down. I tell my kids I feel like I'm a cowgirl because I have like these things next, you know, like holsters. And, and so then I feel like, you know, I have like guns, but I don't have guns, so don't get excited. Those holsters are keeping the batteries and computer by her side that connects to the LVAD. Well, the LVAD, as good a device as it is, is still not a totally artificial heart. There are some restrictions and activities. We don't allow people to drive. We don't allow people to take a tub bath. She needs help around the clock, and Monty doesn't mind being there. Because I love her very much, yes. And uh, she, uh, she's been real tough and uh, positive throughout the experience, and that helps me a lot. The LVAD does buy her more time, but Janet still needs a heart transplant. And then he doesn't have to babysit me every day, and he can go golfing whenever he wants. <laughs> After the transplant. After the transplant. <laughs> Janet is hoping to get the phone call saying they found her a heart within the next 60 days. But finding a match can be difficult because the person needs to have the same blood type and be relatively the same size as her so the heart works properly. The good news is Janet can live with the LVAD for many years. Scott. All right. Thanks, Stephanie. Uh, doctors aren't sure what caused Janet's heart failure. She doesn't have a family history. She doesn't smoke, and she's never been obese. She believes one possibility is treatment she received years ago for cancer.